So now I gotta drop all the shit in my hand to move her out the way of the door, open the door, then pick the shit back up. But by the time I pick the shit back up, she's back in front of the door. I can't leave. So now I gotta figure out how to leave without her standing in front of the door. So fuck it, I'm gonna leave my shit, I'll come back to my shit later. So now I'm going towards the door, she tripping me and shit. You know, she hit me in the back of the head, slapping me and shit. You know, provoking me. And I don't hit with you. On Fridays. Take Friday, right? Like, I don't hit him. My dad always told me to hit him. I slammed the shit out of him. Is that called? The, is that domestic violence when you slam? That is so domestic violence. And you just have. So what you supposed to do when they run at you? Cause my baby mom taller than me, and she weigh more than me. She about 170 pounds. She thick. It sounds like you should run. I ain't about to run for no girl. <laughs> But, but he did just make me realize that we might have some crazy girl tendencies. Cause I, yeah. I think I did like four out of the y'all seven crazy. of those things. Y'all like crazy. Before. I tell myself On that I'm gonna find one that ain't crazy one day. But my mama crazy, my grandma crazy, every cousin I got in my family <laughs> crazy. You talking about you crazy? Maybe y'all all crazy. Maybe we all ain't shit and y'all all crazy. That's what it is. Because y'all always put my ain't shit. That's why every girl I talk to, they say I ain't shit. But you fuck with me. I ain't, I ain't that shit with you. I do. What they say about you, right? Yeah. Yeah, what they say about you? You know, if I ain't shit, you fuck with me. You know, you got my name tattooed. Hey, you got it. I'm trying to figure out how many girls' names I can get tattooed by 2016. I got three years. How many do you have already? Two. I don't know what the fuck was wrong with it when they did that shit. Do you have the girl who, who might... I ain't got no girl's tattoos. Oh, no? Uh-uh. I got a couple meaningful tattoos. I don't just be... I'm not one of them just niggas that just get tattoos for no reason. Just because I got a space on my arm. No. I get... Every tattoo I got means something. You know? I got this tattoo right here. It say hard times because, you know, I did three years. You know? So I got this to make sure I never forget all the bullshit I went through. You know, because motherfuckers get out of jail and then forget the bullshit they went through in jail and end up going back to jail. And I don't understand that. I ain't been back since. Maybe a couple traffic violations. I get bonded right out, you know. But <laughs> going back on no her charges. I don't know how you forget that because I did seven hard county days. You ain't do no, you did seven hard county, county days. days. Yes, over a ticket. I don't know how people forget that, because I have never been back. I ain't never going back. What's your pussy smell like when you, got, when you got out of jail? Because I'm just saying, we didn't have, I didn't take a shower when I was in jail. Did you take a shower when you was in jail for those seven days? No. Yeah. <laughs> so that's all I was saying. Like, yes, I took showers. What kind of question is that? For real, you did? Yes. Did they have shower shoes? That, the sergeant would actually, she was this big burly woman. She would actually get on the intercom and be like, all right. Some of y'all stinking up in here, and I don't want to start calling no names, but I will call some names. Cause y'all stink faster than we do. I don't know. I just smell. We could go days calls. without taking a shower. I don't know. Yeah. We, we might have. To I ain't took a shower today. Day. I smell good, don't I? Come smell me. I swear I ain't took a shower today. Mm. A woman can't pull that off. She gotta take a shower twice a day to get this type of smell. Uh -huh. that's, that's the type of advantages niggas got, you know. Yeah, I need to get hip to that. <laughs> Alright, well look, I met I met Jermaine on actually on Facebook like many years ago and we, we was Facebook friends. We were Facebook shit. friends. And I always said, I'm coming to Atlanta, I'm gonna work with you, I'm gonna work with you. And he always like, you bullshit. Mm -hmm. I, I know you ain't coming. Oh, and then one day we were making a movie together. We made a nice movie. We made a nice movie. movie, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we made a movie together and we're gonna go to break and during the break we're gonna show it. And it, it was actually aired at the Midtown Theater. It's called Firstborn. We almost won on that one. I think we really did. The only reason we ain't winning, and you know how things is, when we don't win shit, it's always a reason why we don't win it. It was a reason. Only reason I ain't win is because somebody's cousin knew the director, and that's the only reason why I ain't win. <laughs> they know the people, that's why they won. That's what happened. I really won. People ask, did you win? Nah, because the people knew the director, and that's why I ain't going to get into it. Right. And hold on, real quick before we go to break. I'm tired of motherfuckers. I know it's a lot of rappers, you know, in the world. You know, I think for every three people, it's one rapper, you know? Right. But I'm tired of motherfuckers always talking about they got a show. 
You know, you gonna come to my show? Open mic ain't no goddamn show, you know? If I gotta come and I gotta wait six, through 16 people for you to go on stage, that's not no show. Don't call me and say you got a show and you want me to come because I manage artists, you know? I'm gonna just here, yeah, I'm Main Street, Main Street Media. I do, I manage artists. I do shoot videos. I, I do every goddamn thing. I direct, act, all you really, that. you really, really, really so, need to look him up. Right, yeah, Google me. Google me, bitch. I always want to do that. <laughs> so, so people always want to come, can you come out to my show because I might want to shoot a video and I heard you manage people, so I want you to come out to my show. And I got to ask them now because before I'd just be like, cool, shoot me the address, I'm going to come out, whatever, you got to let me know what your budget is, we're going to shoot the video, it's good, you know? Right, right. Now I got to ask this, it's open mic because I'm not coming to more, no more open mics. It's just that they're not run correctly. You know, it's a party before the open mic, and then sometimes the party go over 12 o'clock. I'm not out all night trying to, you know, wait for your five minutes on stage. Yeah. You know? That's a really good point. If it's open mic, don't tell me you don't got no goddamn show. <laughs> Ain't no goddamn show. It's open mic. <laughs> well, tell them about your uh, show. You have an actual show. I actually got a, I got a show coming show up. show with his picture on the flyer and everything. I, they got my picture on the flyer and everything, and I'm on the top of the flyer. I know. My, you flyer seen flyer. it? I'm cool I'm now. I'm it on my page. Yeah. I got you. I got you. But, but yeah, on the 26th of January, I'm going to be in Columbus, Ohio. They got a big show for me out there. I'm headlining uh, my first big comedy special. You know, so I'm going to be out there. They didn't give me that. Now, normally because I go to open mics, you know, they only give me like five minutes. These motherfuckers told me they got 35 minutes for me on stage. I don't know wow. what the fuck to do. I, I I got 20 yeah. minutes worth of comedy material read, so we gonna see. I'm gonna have to improv the rest. That means I'm gonna be fucking with people in the crowd. So <laughs> if you come, make sure you dress right. You know, and everything. Make sure your hair done. It's a I lot of stuff I don't like. Hair. I don't know. I wish you could be there. I wanted you to introduce me. You know, I don't just want anybody. Man, you know what? Me. I might have to make it happen. You know? Are you serious? Because some people just introduce you. Hey, everybody, come into the stage. You know, I want somebody to introduce me like I'm already there. Are you know, you like are I'd have been on like, You know where you are in Yeah, you know, I've been a comedian for about two years. Okay. You know, and some most comedians, they got like 20 years in the game. I'm not about to do that. Mm. I ain't got 20 years. I'm not about to be a comedian. Well, we ain't got 20 years either. So, so what we gonna be, do? I need to be big easy. now. <laughs> we gonna go to commercial. Now, watch, watch the, um, the film that we did. This, this is a little five-minute film. Right. right. So watch it and then get in the chat room. Hit us up at Spotlight. In the city.com and just tell us what you think. Tell us your honest opinion about how we did in this movie. I'm I did, excited. I played two parts. Yeah, he showed out. So when we come back, sure, we have some sure. comedy from our improv team, and I heard you're going to kick it with us. Yeah. Uh, we have four treats, so you stay till we be right back. All my shit in my car right now. I don't know where to go. <laughs> I got kicked out this morning.